For starters, you need the request from a country. For instance, uh, a country has a problem and then they want support from another southern country that has a solution. So first of all, there is a request and then there is a supplier. There are different modalities when we talk about formulating a South-South cooperation project. It always begins with either the providing country saying that I would like to provide support in these specific areas. So in, the, in the case of FAO, we are talking about agriculture. So we are talking about uh, agribusiness, we are talking about value chains, we are talking about livestock. Then we also have the hosting countries. The hosting countries have some specific challenges. So once there is a providing country who says, I want to provide experience in these sectors, the recipient countries say, well, I would like to receive experience from country A, B, C with regards to value chain or agribusiness. Once that is done, I as an FAO officer goes into the country and try to look at what are the nitty gritties for formulating such a project. So is the country prepared to host the recipient country? Do they have the adequate infrastructure in place to support such a project? Then I will have to define which are the modalities to use for South South cooperation. Do we deploy short-term experts? Is it a, a, a challenge if you deploy someone for 11 months, or is it easier to have a TOT training, for instance? Then you can uh, decide on which modality is best for such a project. A typical example is between Mali and Morocco, where Morocco is providing its technical assistance in the area of agropole, aquaculture, horticulture. Mali, on the other hand, have significant challenges in this area. So upon uh, making the request, Morocco decided that why not provide the support? They provide some financial support, and Mali, on the other hand, provides accommodation, transportation, so you see, it's more or less a mutual understanding between the provider and the host country.